what does death mean to you do you fear it or do you accept it as the inevitable do you ever even think about it most of the existence is dark art everything that has properties form and matter have properties what is the attraction to these dead masters unfortunately the negative usage became overwhelmingly larger than the positive usage the occult in modern sense is a set of esoteric supernatural beliefs and practices that falls somewhat outside of sanctioned religion tending towards private activities something that's perceived as countercultural or non-scientific the word occult stems from the latin word occultus which means knowledge of the hidden It is aimed at exploring and experiencing phenomena involving mystical and unnatural concepts such as magic and mysticism. One of the most potent ways to experience and understand the philosophies and ideals of the occult is through the field of art in form of what's known as the dark arts. Artists of the genre create art pieces exploring the themes of occult to elicit an emotional response both from themselves and their audience. To understand these themes better and what they truly mean, who's better to us than one of the best of the best in the field? Someone who through their incredible visual poetry highlights the best what an occult art is supposed to be. And that would be none other than the art Daniel is an occult artist famous for his incredibly elegant and detailed artworks containing a blend of taboo subjects like death and darkness with a balance of life and emotions of sadness sorrow and despair a mixture of horror surrealism darkness and mysticism with over 100,000 followers across all of his socials as of making of this film and being one of the first NFT artists to blow up on the scene and even having his art displayed in galleries all over the world are impressive feats but perhaps pales in comparison to his biggest one yet completing a whole year of creating an artwork every single day he introduced me with the genre of the dark arts so i reached out to him to sit down with me and educate me about everything occult art is I first met our changel when we were in school through some of our mutual friends and we became friends over video games and let me tell you he's just as good of a gamer as he's an artist and that's actually how we got into creating 3D art he wanted to join a gaming studio as an environment or level designer very evident from his initial art pieces he transitioned into the dark arts through a small competition for halloween held by another occult artist bill ellis Bill along with Necro13 and Andre Rios have been a major influence on Archangel as an artist. Other major influences of his being the popular myths, books, video games and movies about fantasy and otherworldly stories as evident by a lot of his artworks. Archangel truly is a testament to the fact that true art comes from within and it's not a matter of raw mechanical skill. Having no traditional training in art whatsoever, he is completely self-taught. major credit for which can be attributed to his every day's project his sheer amount of hard work dedication and discipline has brought him to a level where his art is being recognized by the best in the industry slowly but surely cementing him as an artist alongside them but even after such success he has never really let any of it get to his head staying as humble as he was the first day i met him it's a feat of great character in his own words All that matters in the long run is that he keeps creating art. Whatever greatness might come from it will be an afterwrath, not a measure of his art. His discipline and hard work attract people for sure, but more than that it's his personality that makes people gravitate towards him. 
his kindness and general respect towards the people he hangs out with along with his incredible drive to hone his craft explains really well the reason for his immense success although along with his success many weird caveats also followed our change like people from actual cults offering him to join them or people considering him to be a cultist has also been something that he had to deal with <laughs> which is quite hilarious among star conversations about the nature of occult art one term kept popping up again and again macabre macabre now macabre is something that is considered disturbing because it is concerned with or is causing a fear of death It also means gruesome, grisly, grim, grotesque, ghastly, hideous, horrific, horrendous, and other words which are evident of the negative connotation this particular field is usually met with. A fact that even Archangel was vocal about seeing less of moving forward in the future. The word macabre in terms of dark arts captures the essence of the art form really well. Through its themes of death and by extension fear, it resonates with the philosophy of the occult. fear in any of its forms elicit emotions in us inciting and escaping them from the known and inspires us to venture into the unknown away from the physical confines of the world and turn towards something deeper at its core the occult is an idea of experimentation practice and self discovery it is very adamant in its nature to oppose the known in favor of the unknown taking its practitioners and explorers on a surreal journey and compels us to look beyond what lies ahead of us in a metaphysical because at the end everything you thought had meaning every moment of hope or happiness or despair none of it really matters once death catches up to you embracing that is what the occult art aims to do to look beyond what is and for its true nature tackling our primal fears and the feeling of disenchantment from the physical world to ponder about the possibilities of being something more so will you fear it or will you embrace it at the end the choice is yours